Hi guys, this is Jean from Happy Indulgence and I'm back from my European holiday. I was over there for three weeks where we did a lot of sightseeing, a lot of traveling, a lot of eating pizza and pasta. So we basically went to London, Paris, Italy, and in Italy we went to Florence, Venice and Rome. So it was an amazing time. I actually recapped the adventure down below where I talked about a lot of the highlights and some photos and I also talked about what it was like traveling while pregnant. So make sure to check out the link down below to check out my blog post and if you're a new subscriber Welcome, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you want to check out more videos So let's just get started. I got so much book mail while I was away And I got like so many packages and it was actually one of the highlights of coming back home and I was so excited So I'm just going to start opening them. I just got my trusty scissors as well So so the first one is Oh, look how beautiful it is! So this is A Curse of Ash and Embers by Joe Sparrow and this is actually from Papa Voyager and it's basically a witchy book about a curse that has been left. I'm not going to read out the whole blur but it's just so beautiful. At the front it says a dead witch, a bitter curse, a battle of magic. So it sounds amazing. And I'll make sure to leave a link to the blurb down below with this book and all the other books that I unbox. Next one is from Penguin Random House Australia. So let's see what's in here. Ooh, ooh, it's all wrapped up all. Oh my gosh, did I just rip that? Oh no! Okay. Oh my gosh! It's actually, like, it's actually a map of days by Ransom Riggs. And this is an arc, it looks like. So. This is actually the sequel to the Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children series and it is so gorgeous. So looks like it came with a bit of a torn sheet, so that wasn't me, thank God. And it came with these photos as well, so that is so chilling. Oh my gosh, look how creepy it is. So stay peculiar as well. And as you guys know who have read the book, photos all creepy photos are a big part of this book, so I can't wait to read it. I think this is the fourth book in the series. Now for the next package. This is so exciting, guys. Ooh! So this looks like a copy of The Bells by Donnell Clayton, and this is actually from Hatchet Australia. I did receive an art copy quite a few months ago, but this looks like the finished copy and it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, it has this prayerless matte cover. Okay, here's for the next package. Oh, cool! So this one is also from Hatchet Australia and it's an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green. I've seen so much buzz about this book. I know it is an adult book though, not an, a YA book. But it's about this girl who becomes suddenly famous overnight. Basically, she wakes up overnight and becomes instantly famous and she has to deal with the consequences of that. So it's very real for a lot of YouTubers, obviously. And it's about social media, about changing fame. So yeah, if you guys have read this, let me know what you think. All right, here's for the next package. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous! This is a copy of Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor and this is a finished edition from Hatchet Australia. You guys spoil me. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how beautiful it is. I got the ARC before I actually left so I'll show you guys what that looks like as well. So this one's the ARC and you can see those beautiful stained orange pages and this one's the finished copy. And I'm actually super excited that I received this one as well because I actually pre-ordered a hardcover edition from Booktopia and it's been delayed so they say it'll be here next week but you never really know. I actually read this a few months ago on ebooks so I really want to reread it because it's one of the best books I've read all year so yay I can't wait for that. Next one is from Bloomsbury. I think I know what it is guys. Beautiful packaging! Yay! Hi Toby, are you excited too? Yes! Oh, look at it! Here you go! Alright, 
this is actually an arc of the Priory of the Orange Tree. Oh my gosh, it's actually one of my most anticipated releases coming out. It's a fantasy read about dragons and I love Samantha Shannon and the Bone Season series and I have a feeling, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There's a little letter from Bloomsbury here and it's also personally signed. I can't believe this, guys. I have been so jealous seeing copies of this come out at Bia and seeing the huge arc, but I can't wait to read it. I'm so excited. Oh, thank you so much for sending this to me, Bloomsbury. And that's just what it looks like on the back as well. <laughs> I can't believe I have this in my hands. And this one's also from Hachette Australia. So, oh, there's a couple of things in here. So we've got an arc of Broken Things by Lauren Oliver. On the back it says it began with a book, increasingly obsessed with a novel called The Way Into Love Lawn. Mia and Bryn were drawn into a fantasy world of their own creation. Their imagining slowly became darker, twisted, even deadly. It ended with their best friend's murder. They may not have been charged, but everyone knows that they committed the crime, or so the story goes. So, Broken Things by Lauren Oliver will actually be out on the 18th of October. I have read quite a lot of Lauren Oliver books, and they usually hit or miss, but I love the sound of this thriller book, so that's exciting. Next one is actually Light Years by Cass Morgan. Oh, okay, so it says on the back, it's the first book in a new sci-fi series, so it's a completely new sci-fi. It will be coming out on the 9th of October, and I'll make sure to leave a link to the blurb down below as well. So here's all the amazing books that I got while I was away on holidays. They were sent from publishers and I just can't wait to read them. I was completely spoiled as well so I can't wait. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please give me a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button as well if you'd like to see more. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!